Now consider this next problem on the flywheel. A flywheel of a steam engine has a radius of gyration is 1 meter and mass of 2,500 kg. So the mass of flywheel is 2,500 kg and the radius of gyration is 1 meter. So you can easily determine the I, the mass moment of inertia of the flywheel, which is mk square. So 2500 kg meter square. The starting torque of the engine at the time of the starting T equals to 1500 Newton meter. And maybe assume as constant. So the starting torque remains constant. Determine the angular acceleration of the flywheel and the kinetic energy of the flywheel after 10 seconds. So first we are solving for problem. Let alpha is angular acceleration. And we know that the starting torque is equals to R into alpha. Simply the alpha is equals to torque 1500 by I 2500 is equals to 0 0.6 radians per second square. Your first answer, which is very simple. Simple mechanics problem and the two, the kinetic energy of the flywheel after 10 seconds from the start. So that uh, the flywheel's speed at rest is uh, zero because it is starting. And if it is starting from the rest position, so the initial angular velocity of flywheel or initial speed of flywheel is should be zero. The initial speed of flywheel omega, the initial is one, is zero. And after 10 seconds, the omega two, the speed or angular speed after 10 seconds so final speed is equals to initial speed plus angle ac acceleration into time so 0 plus 0 0.6 into after 10 seconds it is 6 radians per second square in this way i can determine the speed of flywheel or angular speed of flywheel after 10 seconds and the kinetic energy of flywheel after 10 seconds based on this speed 1 by 2 omega square into i omega 2 square into i which is 1 by 2 i 2 5 double 0 into omega 2 that is 6 Square 36 by 2, 18, 45 kilonewton meter or 45 kilojoules of energy is available after 10 seconds at the flywheel. So this is also a simple example based on the flywheel. If you have any doubt or query related to this class or any topic of theory of machine, then send your doubts or queries on the mail IDs or the numbers given below. Thank you.